Indian Army commandos will soon be able to fly just like Iron Man or Superman in movies. They would be able to soar over minefields or carry out rescue operations all thanks to the new jetpack suit being developed by the DRDO. According to reports, the Indian military is all set to test out these human flight machines before the end of this year. But the Indian jetpacks will be vastly different from the ones available in the market for three key reasons. Can you guess what they are? Leave a comment and we'll give you the answer in just two minutes. The Indian Army's focus has shifted heavily to the integration of jetpacks into the armed forces. These are visuals of Richard Browning of Gravity Industries giving a flight demonstration to the Indian commandos. The British firm gave the devil at the Airborne Training School in Agra, following which Indian Army placed an order for 48 such systems last year. However, later reports indicated that the order may have been put on hold. The status remains unclear. India's own DRDO is now racing ahead to showcase its own jetpack, which may give Indian troops a tactical advantage at the LAC with China. Where the need for surveillance is 24-7 and the terrain is not ideal for swift movement of troops, jetpacks will allow Indian commandos to soar over rocky regions to reach any vantage point. Jetpacks will also prove to be a lifeline for the Indian forces actively carrying out missions to eliminate cross-border terrorism in regions like Kashmir. And we could also avoid stories like these when troops become victims of minefields or booby traps in remote regions while carrying out anti naxal operations. But the biggest advantage would be in rescue and relief operations. In a country like India where flood and landslides are a yearly occurrence, jetpacks would enable first responders to reach remote regions and provide first aid or rescue. So we asked you how are DRDO's jetpacks different? According to reports, this jetpack will have an enhanced endurance of up to 2 hours, up from the 20-minute versions available in the international market currently. Secondly, the DRDO plans to use battery-operated electric jetpacks which use electric ducted fans in place of costly ones that use micro-gas turbines or micro-jet engines that use liquid fuel. This was even mentioned in the 43rd report submitted by the Standing Committee on Defence in December last year. Thirdly, Gravity Industries' product costs as much as $400,000 each which makes scaling up a challenge. With a cost-effective battery-operated jetpack with longer endurance, DRDO hopes its jetpack will serve all the needs of the Indian Army. But DRDO faces a challenge, not from overseas, but from a Bangalore-based Indian company, which too is trying to bag the Indian Army contract. Have your say. Will such jetpacks give the Indian Army a tactical edge at the LAC and the LOC? Leave a comment below. And if you like this news report, then subscribe to our channel or hit the like button so that can reach more viewers.